welcome students teachers to the knowledge and curriculum course of bs syllabus now we are in the fifth unit of curriculum practices now we have moved towards the third module which deals with the criteria for futuristic curriculum and its developmental trends here before you dr v girija professor and head for the school of the power school of education Wales Institute of Science, Technology and Advanced Studies, Chennai. Let us look into the criteria that has to be given importance for the futuristic curriculum. Any futuristic cur curriculum, the curriculum which is going to be developed for the future, should incorporate the emerging technologies, emphasize critical thinking, foster adaptability. include interdisciplinary approaches promote global awareness and prioritize skills and such as problem solving and creativity according to national education policy 2020 national education policy 2020 has given much importance to technological integration so any curriculum which is going to be developed for future must embrace the emerge, emerging technologies like artificial intelligence virtual reality and blockchain any futuristic curriculum should include coding and da futuristic should incorporate emerging technologies like emphasizing critical thinking foster adaptability include interdisciplinary approaches promote global awareness and prioritize skills such as problem solving and creativity and digital literacy as a fundamental skills any futuristic curriculum must develop critical thinking and problem solving among the students for which any curriculum must design activities that encourage students to analyze evaluate and solve complex problems any futuristic curriculum that is going to be developed for future students must foster a mindset that values creative solutions and innovative thinking adaptability and resilience is much importance to be given for any futuristic curriculum among the students providing experiences that challenge the students to adapt to changing circumstances and enhancing resilience and ability to learn from failures these are the areas where the futuristic curriculum developers must show. given care of and as we all know national education policy gives much importance to the interdisciplinary learning so any futuristic developers curriculum developers must break down the traditional subject barriers and promote cross disciplinary projects and they should try to connect uh, the subjects to the real world issues for a holistic understanding and looking about the global awareness any curriculum developers for future students must incorporate global perspectives into the curriculum to prepare students for a interconnected world and they should address cultural competence and global challenges and let us move on to soft skill development which is very crucial for our future citizens for our students so any curriculum developers must definitely emphasize much on communication collaboration and interpersonal skills and they should never forget to develop emotional intelligence and self awareness because if the students doesn't have or doesn't have the quality of emotional intelligence and self awareness there is no use of learning any things like communication or collaboration or whatever it is they cannot um uh i mean they cannot work in a proper way they cannot um, uh shine in the future now uh, let us move on to the environmental and sustainability education any futuristic curriculum developers must integrate these concepts of environmental responsibility and sustain sustainability in whatever uh, i mean the curriculum that they develop and they should definitely uh, should not forget to promote awareness of ecological changes and solutions because we have to leave our earth for our future citizens 
so it is the responsibility of any curriculum developers has to be taken care of and data literacy is very important teach we have to teach students how to analyze and interpret data effectively and any curriculum developers must promote an understanding of the ethical use of the data and the life skills and financial literacy is very much important see in whatever we teach see the curriculum developers must not forget that they should only uh, develop the students with the scientific literacy or historical literacy or mathematical literacy that will not help them for the future unless they have the life skills and if they don't know to manage their own funds and if they don't have any financial literacy there is no use in gaining any knowledge in whatever subjects they learn so it is very important for any curriculum developers to in uh, to include these skills in while they develop the curriculum they must definitely um, include these skills like uh, life skills and financial literacy so what they have to do the curriculum developers must def definitely include the practical life skills such as time management and financial literacy in whatever the subject the students they learn they must include all these things like life skills financial literacy and uh, everything in the in whatever subject they learn say it may be even in the science they must prefer prepare students for personal and professional responsibilities and personalized learning paths catering to the individual learning styles and preferences is very important as we all know uh, our students are multiple intelligent students they possess different uh, intelligences among them so we know that um, uh, one uh, one set of module will not help the students all the 40 students in the class so we must definitely the curriculum developers must provide or uh, must provide uh, space to cater to the learning individual learning styles and preferences and they must give uh, space to use technology to enable personalized learning experiences and the futuristic developers the curriculum developers must uh, look into the ethics and digital citizenship this is very important they must instill a strong sense of ethics especially in the use of technology teach responsible citizen digital citizenship and online behavior and uh, about continuous learning we all know learning doesn't stop the while after acquiring one degree or ug degree or pg degree or even after acquiring a uh, doctorate degree it is not so we all know education is a continuous process it's a lifelong learning so here the curriculum developers must not forget that the students should be encouraged to be lifelong learner, learners so uh, it is the curriculum developers responsibility to encourage a lifelong learning mindset so they have to provide resources and strategies for self directed learning in whatever the curriculum that they develop so this should this should what be one of the key for any curriculum developers that is the futuristic developers so by incorporating these elements into your into a curriculum education institutions can better prepare students for the challenge and opportunities of the future now let us move on to uh, from the uh, criteria for futuristic curriculum to standard based educational practices now learning standards defining the curricular and measurable learning objects objectives or outcomes for students usually set by education authorities at the national state and or institutional level the curriculum alignment ensuring that the curriculum is designed to address and achieve the specified learning standards and aligning instructional materials activities and resources with these standards and assessment alignment is is very crucial developing assessments that directly measure whether the students have met the learning standards and having a sense of variety of uh, uh, tools assessment tools such as tests projects and presentations yes in standard based uh, curriculum again the criteria for futuristic curriculum must look into framing any standard based curriculum also for which again data driven decision making is also very important which has to be included in any standards 
in all the standards, not in any standards, in all the standards. Like say, regularly collecting and analyzing the data on student performance, using assessment research to inform instructional decisions and identify areas for improvement, and differentiated instruction, like tailored teaching methods to meet the diverse learning needs of students. Adjusting the instruction based on ongoing assessments to support individual progress. And then clear learning objectives must be specified. Like communicating learning objectives clearly to students and providing a road map for what students should know and be able to do. And implementing ongoing formative assessments to monitoring students' progress and providing timely and constructive feedback to guide further reading and the professional development, offering professional development opportunities for teachers to understand and implement standards effectively and keeping educators updated on charges or revisions to standards. Parents and community engagement is very important. Communicating the learning standards and expectations to parents and the community. Fostering collaboration between educators, parents and the community to support student learning. Alignment across grade levels, ensuring a coherent progression of skills and knowledge from one grade level to the next and facilitating smooth transitions for students as they progress through their education. And flexibility for diverse learners, recognizing and accommodating the diverse needs and abilities of students and providing additional support or enrichment for based on individual requirements. Accountability and transparency. Establishing accountability and mechanisms to assess the effectiveness of standard-based practices and maintaining transparency in communicating outcomes and areas for improvement. And setting the standard-based educational practices helps create co a cohesive and goal-oriented learning environment, promoting consistency and quality in education. Now let us uh, look into the types of learning resources. After identifying 21st century learners' needs, designing learning objectives and selecting learning content, organizing learning content and curriculum designers are to select learning experiences. In order to design the learning experiences, it is important to know what resources are available for effective learning, the content decided and lead towards the objectives formulated. Learning resources are the materials that are used for uh, teaching a course. So they have to look into the animation, like successive drawings that create an illusion uh, to, of movement when shown in sequence. The animations visually and dynamically present concepts, models, processes and or phenomena in space or time. Users can control their pace and movement through the material typically, but they cannot determine and or influence the initial conditions or their outcome results. Animations typically do not contain real people, places or things in movement. Assessment tools, forms, templates and technologies for measuring performance and assignment while giving assignment, the activities or lesson plans designed to enable students to learn skills and knowledge. Case study, a narrative resource describing a course intra complex interaction of real life factors to help illustrate and the impact and or interactions of concepts and factors inter. Collection, a meaningful collection of learning resources such as websites, documents, apps, etc. that provides users an easier way to discover the materials. Development tool, Software development applications, platforms for authoring technology-based resources like websites, learning objects, apps, etc. Drill and practice requires users to respond repeatedly to questions or stimuli presented in a variety of sequences. Users practice on their own, at their own pace, to develop their ability to reliability perform their ability to reliably perform and demonstrate the target knowledge and skills. Portfolio, a collection of electronic materials assembled and managed by a user. These may include text, electronic files, images, multimedia, blog entries and links. E-portfolios are both demonstrations of the user's abilities and platforms for self-expression and if they are online, 
they can be maintained dynamically over time. An e-portfolio can be seen as a type of learning record that provides actual evidence of achievement. Hybrid and blended course. The organization and presentation of course curriculum required to deliver a complete course that blends online and face-to-face -face teaching and learning activities. Illustration, graphical illustration and visual concepts, models and or processes that are not photographic images that visually present concepts, models and or processes that enable students to learn skills or knowledge. These can be diagrams, illustrations, graphics or infographics in any file format including Photoshop, Illustrator and other similar file types. Photographic image, instructional, photos or images of real people, places or things that visually presents concepts, processes and or phenomena that enable students to learn skills or knowledge. These can be photographs, images or stock photography. Presentation, teaching materials that is text and multimedia that are used to present curriculum and concepts of learn to learners. Quiz, test, etc. Any assessment device intended to do evaluate the knowledge and or skills of learners. Reference material, material with no specific instructional objectives and similar to that found in the reference area of a library and subject specific directories to other sites, text or general information or examples of reference material. Simulation and simulation approximates a real or imaginary experience where users' actions effect affect the outcomes of tasks they have to complete. Users determine and input initial conditions that generate generate output that is different from and changed by the initial conditions. Social networking social networking tool, websites and apps that allows users to communicate with others connected in a network of self-identified user groups for the purpose of sharing information, calls for actions and reactions. Syllabus, a document or website that outlines the requirements and expectations for completing a course of study and course outlines would also be included in this. Tutorial. Users navigate through a set of scaffold, scaffolded learning activities designed to meet stated learning objectives, structured to impart specific concepts or skills, and organized sequentially to integrate conceptual presentation, demonstration, practice, and testing. Feedback on learner performance is an essential component of a tutorial. Let us move on to video instructional material, a recording of moving visual images that show real people, places and things that enable students to learn skills or knowledge. Workshop and training material, materials best used in a workshop setting for the purpose of professional development. Characteristics of learning resources, Jenny Valdez and Tomlinson in the introduction of their book Materials Development in Language Teaching have identified five essential characteristics for any learning resources. Important among them are as follows. Materials should have an impact on the audience. Capturing the attention of the learners is very essential and it can be either through an appealing uh, appearance, the use of bright colors, inclusion of unique characters or variety in the presentation and type of activities and media used for the lessons. It is important to offer different sources of information that activate the curiosity of the learners to be engaged in the content. What is being taught should be perceived by learners as relevant and useful. Learners need to feel that the time and effort that they are putting into the learning proves it to be productive and that the information they are going through is relevant and useful to achieve and complete tasks that they might face in a real context. Materials should require and facilitate learners' self-investment. Materials should facilitate the learning process only up to a point. They should also challenge the learner to make an effort by themselves to detect, acquire and understand patterns and input that is not necessarily presented in an explicit way. 
This extra effort leads to better understanding and bigger profit for the learner. Materials should require and facilitate learner's self-investment. Materials should help the learner to be at ease. Materials should help learners to develop confidence. Now, let us look into the advantages of learning resources. And they can be listed as follows and the list is self-explanatory. All the learning resources, the advantage of any learning resource is it improves the clarity. It increases the attention and interest. Any learning resource will motivate learning. Any learning resource makes maximum use of senses. Any learning resource will be uh, made based on the maxims of teaching. Any learning resource will definitely save time and effort. It will encourage participation. And it, any learning resource introduces novelty, develops scientific approach and it meets individual differences. So, with looking at all these uh, advantages of learning resources, we shall look into the process of selection of learning resources. Who should make the selection? It is a local decision. But ultimately, it is the responsibility of all professional staff at the department, school management, district and school level to select resources that will enrich and support the curriculum, taking into consideration the diversity of interests and perspectives and the variety of abilities, learning styles and maturity levels of the learners served. To select resources that will stimulate growth in factual knowledge, literary appreciation, aesthetic values and knowledge of societal standards. To select resources that positively and accurately reflect perspectives on controversial issues, ensuring that learners have an opportunity to develop under guidance the practice of critical analysis and the ability to make informed judgments in their daily lives. A few examples of sources of learning resources. The Center for Learning Resources, CLR, is, is, it is a non-profit, non-governmental organization located in Pune, India. Since 1984, it has been working in the fields of early childhood care and development, early childhood education and elementary education and the teaching of English in Maharashtra and other states in India. Their main goal is to improve the quality of early childhood care and development and early childhood and elementary education that rural and urban are disadvantaged children receive in our country. As a technical support organization, the CLR is committed to working in collaboration with all those governmental agencies and NGOs engaged in meeting this challenge. You are English. An English course for post-secondary youth from socially and economically disadvantaged backgrounds, development of graded reading series in English for students in, re in regional medium schools and observation come lab centers to demonstrate effective early childhood education or some of their current projects. Criteria for selection of learning resources. Once the sources for selecting the resources are known, the curriculum designers need to have a set of criteria to select the sources. The essential characteristics of the resources and the needs of the learners are the basic criteria to select the resources. Specifically, the criteria can be grouped under the following headings like content, instructional design, technical design and social considerations. If we look into the criteria, criteria related to content, content is current and content is accurate and content should support the intended curriculum and material has significant regional content and the level of difficulty is appropriate for the intended audience and content integrates the real world experiences. These are the criteria that has to be looked into while developing the content. Criteria related to instructional design. Instructional goals and learner objectives are clearly stated and the resource is suitable for a wide range of learning, that is the teaching styles. And the resource promotes students' engagement. And the methodology promotes active learning. And the methodology promotes development of communication skills. The resource encourages group interaction. The resource allows, encourages, allows and encourages students to work independently. 
and the resource is suitable for its intended purpose and materials are well organized and structured concepts are clearly introduced and non technical vocabulary is appropriate pedagogy is innovative and text relates to visuals these are the criteria that are related to uh, instructional design criteria that are related to technical design appropriate support materials are to be provided and visual design is interesting and effective and layout is logical and consistent users can easily employ the resource let us move on to the criteria that are related to social considerations examining a resource to see how it handles social issues helps to identify potentially controversial or offensive elements that may exist in the content or presentation and highlights where resources might support pro social attitudes and promote diversity and human rights the intent of the screening process is not to remove controversy but rather to ensure controversial views we know our students best their needs can be analyzed systematically and scientifically and the first hand information about them forms the basis of our resource development the resources available at our disposal can be made use of and local touch which the developer knows will escalate the efficiency of learning and the teacher will find it comfortable to use the resources that he or she has developed knowing all these advantages let us understand the steps involved in developing learning resources as in the development of any educational resource following steps may be involved like identifying the target audience study their needs and list out their objectives in terms of expected outcomes while they are using the resource and checking for the availability of a similar resource already developed and suits your which suits our requirement if not continue with the developing a new one identifying the content to suit the objectives identify the methodology to present the content and checking for the resources available to present the content in the proposed method this may include material resources human resources financial resources etc discussing the proposed resource development with experts in the field developing the resource as per the plan and use the resource to the target audience and collect the feedback and check the feedback and update the resource as required if any once the resource is developed it can be improved or perfected with continuous interaction with the experts in the field and the learners for whom it is intended steps to consider while developing learning resource for our students it helps in improving clarity increases attention and interest and motivates the learning makes maximum use of senses and is based on the maxims of teaching and it saves time effort and effort of both the teacher and the taught selection of resources has to be based on certain criteria it should focus on four important aspects namely content instructional design and technical design and social considerations the principles of selecting learning resources are principle of learner centeredness principle of interest and principle of motivation and principle of educational value hope with this you would have understood the principles of selecting the instructional resources and criteria for selecting the futuristic curriculum etc thank you all